Right, let's continue. Now, what happens now like in this reaction? Remember, we ended up with this double bond O. This is CH3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. This was our CH3. This is our CH3. I'll write it as CH2 bonded to H. Now, remember there we are adding Na plus O minus, that is OET in this case, right? Now, OET is going to come and pick this one up, right? Then this will leave behind the bond pair that it shared with what? With hydrogen to generate what? A carbonion. To generate what? A carbonion, right? There we go. There's my CH2. One, two. That is this two electrons here that were left here to give me a negative charge on that carbon atom. That carbon atom was bonded to this here, double bond O, this, 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 and CH3. Now remember, a, a charge, single bond, double bond. Right? What does that imply? There is conjugation. These electrons will come here, right, to give me a double bond there, as these ones are moving out to give me and annulate that side, right? There we go. So the charge here is what? Resonance what? Stabilized. It is what? Resonance what? Stabilized. What then do I get in this case? There we go. CH2 double bond, right? To oxygen, one, two, one, two, one, two, minus, and CH3 that side. Then put in brackets there. There we go. Right? Now, the next step now, like in this case now, what do I have here now? Remember, in the next step, I've got this here, that double bond O, one, two, one, two, which was bonded to OET. That is our ester here. Remember our ester? Now, the ester now is going to react with my carbonyl CH2, one, two, minus, Double bond O, one, two, one, two, CH3. This now is going to come in and attack this carbon atom. Then these electrons are pushed out to oxygen. Now, what do I get here now? What do I get here now? What do I get here now? Let's see. I've got this, that, O, one, two, one, two, one, two, negative. Isn't it? And then this now, like there's a new bond to what? There's a new bond to, to this sage 2. There's my sage 2. There's my sage 2. But the sage 2 was bonded to what? The sage 2 was bonded to C, double bond O, bonded to sage 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. There we go. Right? But that carbon atom here was also bonded to O, E, T. There we go, right? Then we get this intermediate now. What happens now with this intermediate? This here comes in to give us a double bond. Then the O, E, T becomes a, a good living group. Then it leaves, right? So what would be my product now? Let's see. There's my product. Then here I'll get this double bond here now, can you see? O, one, two, one, two, right? So this carbon is bonded to sage two, that side. This carbon atom bonded to sage two. My sage two is going to be here. Sage two is bonded to C, double bond that side, O that side, and sage three that side. Then plus that O, AT minus, that will react with H plus to give us ethanol there, right? But this is my 1,3-dicarbonide, uh, 1,3-dicarbonide, which in, in this case is my target, what call like molecule, right? So, 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 so now like you have seen now like what we mean by 
one group disconnections, what we mean by two group or correct disconnections. Then in the next class now, like I'll go to other, you know, like uh, more involved uh, 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 reactions, you see, like of our carbonates, you know, like reactions such as replacement reactions, you know, like uh, Michael addition type of reactions, etc., etc., etc. All right. Thank you very much. <clears throat>